it's easy to see why a lot of members of the NFL draft media and a lot of NFL fans have fallen in love with Amari Cooper as a prospect in this 2015 NFL draft coming out of Alabama. Here's a guy that was a record-setting wide receiver in 2014 in the SEC. Here's a guy that was a Heisman Trophy finalist as a wide receiver, 124 receptions, 1,700 receiving yards, 16 touchdowns. I mean, Amari Cooper was a man. He was a beast in 2014 at Alabama. There's no question about it. And when you watch Amari Cooper on film, there's a lot to really like about him. And I see why a lot of people view him as the number one wide receiver prospect in this year's draft class. He was a guy that gets a really good release off of the line of scrimmage at the beginning of his route. He's a very smooth and advanced route runner. You wish, frankly, that a lot of NFL wide receivers were as smooth and advanced in their route running and their route tree as an Amari Cooper is coming out of college. Here's a guy that me that I always see be able to demonstrate good acceleration and therefore be able with his acceleration, good with his good release, with his smooth and advanced route running, is able to easily and consistently get separation, especially underneath and over the middle. What I really like about Cooper, too, is he doesn't seem to be a guy that's afraid. He doesn't play scared. Here's a guy that's unafraid of contact. Here's a guy that's willing to go over the middle. That's a quality that I'd really like to see out of a wide receiver prospect. He is a guy that can get vertical, that can stretch out opposing defenses down the field, and does have an ability, once he gets the ball in his hands, with his acceleration, with his overall athleticism, to be able to gain some extra yards in the open field, get some of that yak. He racks up that yak. And I envision him being able to do that at the NFL level. Some of the skills that Amari Cooper has are the ones that translate the best to the NFL level. It's that quick, good release off of the line of scrimmage, that ability to beat different types of coverage. It's that smooth, advanced route running. It's his good acceleration. The fact that he can consistently get separation. Sometimes those are skills that guys can learn and be taught, but sometimes those are skills that guys just have. And those are the type of skills that can carry over the most easily from the college level to the NFL level. When you factor in his really good athletic package, there's a lot to like. And again, I understand why a lot of people view him as the number one wide receiver prospect in this 2015 NFL draft and view him as a top 10, if not top 5 talent. However, don't count me amongst that group. Because when I look at Amari Cooper, I do have some questions about his game and how he will translate to the NFL level. First and foremost, what stands out to me on film with him is that he drops far more balls than he should have, especially easy catches. I don't know why. I don't know if it's a lack of concentration or just not focusing on the ball and looking upfield before you catch it. But to be a number one wide receiver at the NFL, you have to be counted on to consistently be able to catch the ball. A big concern I have about Amari Cooper is the fact that he drops a lot of easy passes. Um, and I also watch Amari Cooper on film, and I see him make a lot of solid plays. I see him make a lot of good plays. But I don't see a ton of spectacular plays, especially as a jumper, which makes me concerned about his vertical ability. And let's face it, at the NFL level, that ability to get that stop fade, that ability to get that jump ball, that ability to get that corner fade, those are very important skills for a number one wide receiver to have at the NFL level. And that's not something I saw Amari Cooper be able to consistently do in the past couple of years at college at Alabama, which means they didn't go there a lot because maybe that wasn't the best part of his game and maybe that's something that's not a big strength. And when I watch the film, that's something that stands out. When I'm looking at a wide receiver and thinking about taking him in the top five or the top ten, one of the things he has to be able to do is make those spectacular, oh my God, can't believe it happened type of plays. He has to be able to win those jump balls. He has to be able to make those spectacular plays. And frankly, Amari Cooper had a lot of really good plays at Alabama, but some of them were produced by the system, he lacked those big-time wow spectacular plays, which makes me think that he really lacks truly special playmaking ability. And then you look at the fact that he's not the biggest guy. You're talking about a guy that's maybe six foot one, you know, right around 200 pounds. He's not really a big guy. 
So he doesn't quite have the athleticism to me of, let's say, an Odell Beckham Jr. who could compensate for being 5'11 with the special playmaking abilities that he has, especially his ability to go up and get the ball at the highest point. That's something that's not a strength of Amari Cooper's game. I also have some durability concerns about him, both with his foot and his knee. You know, not to say they're going to be major hindrances to him at the NFL level, but those are things that should concern you a little bit. A skill position player like him, where a lot of his game is built off of speed and in particular acceleration, he's had foot and knee problems in the past. Is this going to be a guy that has some nagging injuries when he gets to the NFL level? When I look at an NFL comparison for Amari Cooper, I see Reggie Wayne, a slightly more athletic, quicker version of a Reggie Wayne, but a Reggie Wayne type of prospect nonetheless. A guy who's a very advanced route runner, who has a consistent ability to get separation, and that's what's going to get him by at the NFL level more than his speed and athleticism. He's also a guy that lacks those really special plays, that special playmaking ability. He's just that guy that you can count on to be solid, that guy that is going to consistently produce. That's what you could say about Reggie Wayne mostly throughout his 14-year NFL career, and I think that's something that we're going to be able to say about Amari Cooper. A guy, like I said, with a little more athleticism and a little more speed than a Reggie Wayne, but a lot of similarities in their games. Good release off of the line of scrimmage. Very smooth, advanced route runner, able to consistently get separation. Um... But again, it's those lack of special plays. You know, even when you think about the Colts back in the decade of the 2000s with Peyton Manning, Reggie Wayne was a very, very good player. You know, you might make an argument for him being a Hall of Famer someday, and understandably so. But Marvin Harrison was the better player. Marvin Harrison was the number one wide receiver. And I look at Amari Cooper, I see those type of similarities in his game to Reggie Wayne's. And it's part of that reason for his lack of really being able to make those special plays. It's that fact that he doesn't really have that big-time size nor the skills to really overcompensate for that lack of height at 6'3", 6'4", with him barely being 6'1". And the fact that he's not really much of a blocker, both in terms of technique and effort, even though that's not a huge consideration to me when you're taking a wide receiver in round one, it is part of the pie. The fact that he's somewhat um, inconsistent in terms of his uh, ability to catch the ball. I look at Amari Cooper, and I'm sorry. I look at a guy that's more of a top 20 prospect in this year's NFL draft than a top 10 prospect, and a guy that, for my money, for my money, is only the number four wide receiver in this 2015 NFL draft class.